everyone welcome back to Katie's sessions today we are going to see how can we read and write excel file using microsoft power automate desktop so let's dive in let me open uh, power automate desktop and create a new flow and i will give it a name excel read and write and here we go so first of all we will go to the actions pane and in actions pane i will search for excel and here we can see excel a uh, group of excel actions in addition to this advanced group we have these actions in our excel group you can see and in advanced we have some advanced action we are going to use all these actions in the upcoming sessions and today we are going to or read and write an excel sheet or excel workbook this one it contains the data of some employees the employee id first name last name department job title date of birth date of hire so first of all we are going to read this data in previous video we saw the data table manipulation you haven't watched that video please watch that because when we read the data of an excel file we are going to get that data in the data table so you should be aware of data table concept all right so for reading the data as we manually if we manually want to read the data so we launch the excel file and then we read the data similarly in power automate for desktop we will launch the excel file for this we are going to use this launch excel action so this will launch a new excel instance or opens an excel document so if you want to create a new excel workbook and you want to write some data in the new excel workbook so you will use this action and if you want to open an existing excel document then also you can use this launch excel action so you need to specify what you want to do either you want to open a existing document then you will select open the following document and if you want to create a new excel workbook so you will select this with a blank document launch excel with a blank document or launch excel and open the following document which document we need to give the path of the document here so here if the path of the excel file is uh, stored in a variable so you can select that variable and if you want to hard code the value then you can select this and here you will go uh, you can browse the path of the excel file so here we have this input data file i will select this and open so here we have the path of the excel file okay now make instance visible so when we uh so when uh, we will launch the excel uh and uh, it will open this file or document so if you want to see the document then we can turn this on make instance visible and if you don't want to see this you can turn this off the next option is open as read only so if you want to read only if you want to open this in the read only mode you can turn this on and when we expand this advanced options so we can see some more properties nest under a new excel process so in this we can specify whether the excel spreadsheet should be under a unique excel process so like macros and add-ins from other spreadsheet won't be accessible so you can turn this on i'll leave it uh, as it is as of now and if there is any password so you can uh, give the password a uh, read protection password write protection password so you if your excel file is protected with any any of the password you can uh, give the password and it will produce one variable which is excel instance because it is going to create a new excel instance or uh, it is going to create a new excel session okay like when we use database so we establish and connection when we try to access in database so first we need to establish and connection similarly we are going to establish and connection with the excel file with the excel instance okay so i will click on save and this action will uh, launch the excel file 
after that we are going to read the excel file so for that we have this action git from excel worksheet okay so here first of all we need to give the instance name which is excel instance and this variable and uh, that's launch action will produce this variable excel instance so we are using the same variable and retrieve what we want to retrieve we can retrieve the value of a single cell we can retrieve uh, values from a range of cells and we can retrieve values from the selection we can retrieve all available values from the worksheet we can retrieve values of named cells so we have five options we can use these options as per our requirements and uh, in this session we are going to read the all available values from the worksheet so i will select this and in advanced we can see get cell contents as text so means if your cell value contains formula or any other value other than text so th this will uh, convert that content as text so we can turn this on and first line of range contains column names that means the first line is the header yes it is the header so we can turn this on as well and this action will produce one variable which is excel data this will be a data table okay so you can see this value of the range of cells as a data table let me click on save all right and at the end we are going to close the excel so we need to tell which excel instance we need to close excel instance and before closing excel we can save the document we can save as uh, if you want to save as with a different name or at a different uh, location we can use this save as and if we don't want to save we can select do not save because we are going to read the document so no need to save all right so let me run the flow because we are going to open the excel in the read only mode so this uh, instance is uh, already open so this will not impact the flow okay so our flow is completed and we can see two variables under flow variable and this is the data table excel data and it contains 20 rows 7 columns and the excel instance it contains one value which is excel instance so let me open this uh, data table and uh, let me open our excel file as well so we can see it contains the data of all the employees you can see in this we have this uh, in data table we have this row index column and after that we have employee id first name last name department job title date of birth date of hire so all the values we have you can see we have 20 rows in our excel file similarly we have 20 rows in our data table now we have uh, got uh, all the data in the data table and and uh, we can process this data as per our requirements so now we will see how can we write the data to the excel file okay so for that first of all we need to launch the excel in the read write mode so we will turn this off because we are not going to open this in the read only mode we are going to open it in the read write mode okay. two thousand years later and for writing the data we are going to use a write to excel worksheet action and this action will write a value into a cell a name cell or a range of cells of an excel instance so again we are going to use the same excel instance and value to write so we can give the value which we want which which we want to write and uh, write mode on specified cell on currently active cell on named cells so for example i want to write the data in the space on a specified cell for example in our excel workbook i want to write the data here in the column h1 you can see this is h1 and so i will give the uh, address of the cell here so here the column is h and the row is one so i want to write the data in the h1 and what i want to read uh, write is uh, salary okay let me click on save and uh, we are not using this read action so let me disable this and let me close the excel workbook because we are going to open this in the read write mode so let me run the flow and 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 uh, we need to save the excel workbook because if we don't save the data then it, uh, because if we don't save this then it will uh, 
not save the changes so let me click on save document and click on save so let me run the flow again and you can see this excel instance was visible for few seconds because we have set we have done that uh, setting on let me open the updated excel workbook and here we can see this salary so our bo our flow has uh, written this in h1 okay so this is how we can write the data into a single cell or a specified cell but okay so for example i want to write the data in the multiple cells okay so in that case what we will do is we are going to use a loop okay so let me show you how we will use that loop let me enable this action first and let me go to loop uh, i'm going to use for each loop and uh, from this read action we are getting the ta data table so we are going to loop uh, loop through that data table which is excel data and we will get the data in the current item okay so in this loop we are going to use this read action and now what we need to do is we need to see i, I want to write the salary of the employees okay so for first record or first employee we are we have to write the salary in, into h2 and for the next we need to write in h3 and so on h4 h5 h6 like that okay so here the column name will remain same h but the row name will get changed so for that we are going to create a variable let me create one variable first set variable and i will rename it to row number okay and the initial value will be 2 and let me click on save and in this loop we need to increase that number by 1 variable name row number and increase it by 1 ok let me click on save and in this write to excel worksheet instead of 1 we are going to use that variable which is row number ok so in first iteration the row number will be 2 so it will write the data into h2 and then it will increase the variable uh, row number by 1 then it will become h3 and it will write the data in that and uh, so on ok so now what data we need to write uh, for that I am going to use uh, one variable uh, one action which is uh, generate random number ok so in each iteration it will generate one random number so I have given a range the minimum value will be 50,000 and maximum value will be 60,000 60, and that random number we are going to write in that cell so instead of salary we are going to write random number so this is the variable random number okay it, so it will write the salary of the employees kind of salary let me close this excel file and let me run the it will launch the excel it will read all the data from the excel and it will set the variable as uh, see this loop is getting uh, uh, executing and we can see this excel instance is visible you can see it is adding the salaries and it has saved the workbook so let me show you see it has added the salary of all the employees and the range of the salary is from 50,000 to 60,000 see let me do some formatting no fair let me clear this so that uh, I have uh, cleared the salary and let me close this and uh, let me change the range from 70,000 to 90,000 okay and let me run the flow again this is the magic of automation so this is how we can write the data to the excel workbook and because this excel instance is visible that's it that is why we are uh, able to see this and uh, if you go to this launch excel and uh, we turn this off make excel instance visible so now it will become in invisible and we will not be able to show see this there isn't any excel instance in the taskbar now all this processing is happening in the background
and you can see the random numbers here you can see the row numbers and all and also if you want to apply some conditions means if the salary is greater than this then do this if the age is this then do that so you can go to this in a uh, loop and here you can uh, use the if conditions or other conditionals and you can apply your conditions or the business rules so you can use this current item and it contains the data of the first row or data of the current row and here you can give the index of the column means for example in the uh, seventh row seventh uh, column we have uh, salary so we can give current item seven or if you want to apply conditions on the age you can do that as well in upcoming sessions we are going to use all these things when we are going to work on any use case so we are going to use this so this is how we can read and write the data and uh, thank you guys for watching this video till end do let me know if you have any doubt or any question i hope you have uh, enjoyed this video thank you bye